Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to enable auto dark mode in Windows 11 with automatic theme switching and or wallpaper switching wherever you want. In this video, we're gonna talk about an app that will help us do that in Windows 11 because by default, we cannot do that. But before doing anything, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel if you enjoy these videos because we are closing in to 20k subs, which would be a great milestone. So let's begin with this video. The app that I'm going to talk about in this video is called Windows Auto Dark Mode and this app is also available for Windows 10 and Windows 11 of course. In the article down below in the description you're going to have links to the official developers github where you can see more info about the app and also the releases if you want to download the latest version of the app. And also in the article down below you'll find a official link if you want to download the app from the Microsoft Store or you can simply search Auto Dark Mode in the Microsoft Store and the first app is the one that will pop up. The the app has good feedback on the Microsoft Store, also has a rating of 5 stars, so you're gonna see in this video how useful this app can be. Of course on the developer's GitHub you can see a lot more info about the app, the main features presented in a few um, words, also download links and more info about how to install and that. But don't worry, in this video, I'm going to show you what you need to do in order to install the app and use it. First of all, you can download it from the GitHub or install it through the Microsoft Store. It doesn't matter. Just click on install on the Microsoft Store. The app will be downloaded and installed in a few seconds. After the app is installed, you can simply open it up through your search box. And the app, as you'll see, has a very, very simple interface. This is how the app looks. You have a few tabs in the left side. Don't worry, I'm going to explain you everything you need to know about the app. First of all, in the time tab, you will be able to enable the auto dark mode. So for you, the dark mode will come something like that disabled, but you can set custom hours. So for example, you want the light theme to be enabled at 7 a.m. and the dark mode, the dark theme to be enabled at 8 p.m. You can do set custom hours and of course you can customize the hours here with no issues if you want. You can also select from sunset to sunrise, but the app will need to have the location enabled in the settings and you can also set an offset. But what I'm currently using is the from sunset to sunrise geographic coordinates. So here you're gonna have to enter the latitude and the longitude values in here. So you can just get them by clicking here, geo coordinates for your location, enter your country or city, and you're gonna get the values here, copy those values and paste them in here, apply coordinates. And as you can see, for example, I'm in Romania at the moment and it is 10 minutes past 6 p.m. So the dark mode is already enabled by using this. And of course, you can set an offset in this setting as well. So you can do this with no issues. Now let's move on to switch modes. If you go into the switch modes tab, you also have some conditions. For example, if you enable don't switch while playing video games, when you are gaming, when you are playing a game, the theme switch won't happen. It will happen when you close out that game. If you have a lower end PC, this could be a very nice setting to enable because when you switch from the light theme to the dark theme or the dark mode, a lot of resources will be used. So you could have uh, a lot of headaches while playing video games if that switching is happening while playing. You also have some settings for the battery power devices. So for example, you can enable dark mode when device is unplugged. So if you have a laptop, for example, that you are using on the, the battery, enabling dark mode could help you increase that battery life. That is also an interesting setting that you can enable if you're using a laptop and you can also enable hotkeys. So for example, you can enter a hotkey for forcing the light mode, forcing the dark mode and stop forcing theme. You need to set the hotkeys first and then enable system wide hotkeys because you can only edit hotkeys while they are disabled. In the apps section, you can customize certain apps. So for example, apps need to adapt to system or are always light, always dark or disabled. System, again, you can customize that. And also you can have a delay for switching taskbar colors. And for the Microsoft Office, because if you're using Microsoft Office, you know how important it is which theme you're using. So you can select to adapt to system or always light, always dark, or you can enable alternative light theme. The app will recommend you a tool that is really interesting, Dark Reader, the browser extension for Chrome, Firefox and Edge that will make websites respect the system theme. So for example, if you're using the dark mode in Windows 11, if you're browsing websites in Chrome, Firefox or Edge, those websites will respect the system theme. You can click on download extension to install it in your browser. This is a really cool extension and you can use it if you find it useful. In the personalization tab, you can 
can set a automatic wallpaper switch or automatic theme switch. Let's talk about the wallpaper switch first. You can enable wallpaper switch and set a certain wallpaper for the light theme and then set a certain wallpaper for the dark theme. You can set the type of picture and also the monitor where you want that picture to be viewed. And if you click on the pick file, you can pick a certain wallpaper that you can use either for the light theme or the dark theme. I'm gonna disable this and go back because I think you're more interested in pick a theme and the automatic theme switching. If you click on pick a theme, you can enable Windows theme switch and you can pick light theme and also a dark theme. You have here all the themes that you have on your operating system for the light and the dark theme as well. And you also have here information on how to create your custom theme. Just click here to open the Windows settings for the personalization tab and you can navigate to colors and change your system color, favorite wallpaper, mouse cursor, accent color, and so on and so forth. Save your theme and then you can use it here. This is really useful and this theme switch is really, really interesting as you can have a certain theme for when Windows is using the light theme and of course a certain theme for the dark mode. That is really, really useful. We also have a settings tab where you can select 12 hour clock. You can hide the system tray from the taskbar if you want, that is not recommended. You can use a color filter, you can set the language, you can check for updates and you should receive this message, no new updates are available. Automatic update check, this is again really useful. If any updates are applied to this app, you will get them first. Here you can change how often they are checking for updates. So right now it is set to seven days. You can also set check for updates updates when auto dark mode starts or automatically download and install new versions. You can also select the update channel. So for example, stable or better. I recommend you stay on the stable one because it is more stable, of course. And also you have here access to the config files. You can open the config file, the log file and the config folder. Another thing that you need to have enabled is auto start. Start auto dark mode with Windows. Leave the setting on so that when you open up your Windows operating system, this app will automatically start with Windows. And of course you have the path where the app is installed for more information. In the About tab, of course, you have info about the app, the version, and what apps were used, and so on and so forth. In my opinion, this app is really, really useful. I strongly recommend you try it. If you're into these custom things in Windows 11, I recommend you try it. And of course, the full shout out goes to the developer of this app. It is a really, really cool and useful app in Windows 11. As a recap, just go into the Time tab, set your preferred dark mode settings, then go into personalization and you can also select custom themes for the light or the dark mode or if you want less features you can use the automatic wallpaper switch as i've said if you want to download the app you're going to have links down below in the description to the official github the official releases page of the github and also the page for the microsoft store section of this app don't forget that all the links will be in the article down below in the description don't forget to leave a comment down below. I'm looking forward to hearing from you if you've used this app, if you find it useful. And if you do, don't forget to also leave a like to this video and subscribe to the TechBase channel because we are closing in to 20k subs. As I've said, it is a really, really insane milestone for me. And I thank you all you guys that are watching and of course subscribing and liking all of these videos means a lot to me and all the support is very much appreciated. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, I wish you all a nice day.